Here with your gnarly news at noon, I'm Sean Mariner for the GNN News Team. Pivot. From Manatee County, Florida, a woman has been charged with felony burglary after she broke into a house to do laundry. The woman had broken into the house multiple times to use the washer and dryer. When police arrived, they found wet clothes, then found the woman hiding in a closet. Have we, have we heard of a laundromat? Anyone? Hey, I got some laundry at home that needs to be done. Wish she'd break into my house. <laughs> From Boulder, Colorado, a girl has been arrested after squeezing her boyfriend's testicles. Police say the girl went over to her boyfriend's apartment early in the morning. After they got into a fight around 4 a.m., he tried to make her leave, so she grabbed his testicles and squeezed hard. She has been charged with domestic violence and trespassing and potentially ruining a man's life. That's just awful. Take a look at her. No, because you're going to do it with take the... It, take a look. Just trust me. Oh. <laughs> well, hello. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. That just, that scared me. Oh. From Dallas, Texas, a website selling wife beaters has been shut down because they condoned beating wives. Wifebeaters.com was a website that sold white tank tops that are commonly referred to as wife beaters. They were shut down after they offered a discount to anyone who could prove that they had been convicted of beating their wife. How does this, how does this happen? That's all for today's edition of Gnarly News at Noon. Check back tomorrow for more. I'm Sean Mariner for the GNN News Team. Gary, what do you say me and you try to get a hold of that Colorado chick? She's huh? cute. She was cute. She's a ball breaker, though.